Well, hi, y'all. It's Trixie. Someone contacted me and said a family member had been scammed by these scammers impersonating South State Bank. So I offered to call the scammer to investigate what the scam is, get a recording of the scammers, and see if there's anything we can report to go along with the police report that the victim is filing. The scam starts with a text message that you can see on your screen now. This call is somewhat tedious because it's very realistic scam. Americans, I think. And you're going to hear me trying to get him to tell me exactly what to do. Let's go. Hello, good afternoon. Um, uh, hello, is this South State Bank? This is James speaking from South State Bank. Um, yes, sir. I got a, a text message about something on my account. Let me go ahead and pull up. Let me go ahead and pull, pull up um, your contact this phone number. Yes. And your full name. Uh, Barbara Strand. Okay. Give me just a moment, Miss Barbara. Um, let me know if you have any questions or concerns. I'm gonna pull up your account here and see what we were um, sending you a text about. Okay. Oh, okay. Just give me just one moment, please. And I hope you're doing well well this morning. Oh, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. And the, did you respond to our text message? Uh, no, I, I'm responding now. I'm calling you. And is this the only number on file or do you also have another number? Uh, just this number. You know, my system's got to take a moment to look at all that information. That's too okay, okay. Um, yeah, it looks like we did have we we did have a, a flag on your account. Can you tell me what the most recent transaction that you did make was? Um, the most recent transaction. Well, I made a deposit on uh, Friday. Yeah, uh, two days ago on Friday. Yes. Okay. And what about your last actual debit card transaction? Uh, debit card transaction. Um, well, I got, uh, I filled my car up with gas on Thursday. Mm -hmm. And is there anyone else on the account or is it? Hello? Just me. Just me. Okay. Sorry. I thought I heard another voice. Okay, so it looks like the red flag, ma'am, it was in regards to a transaction we have on hold. So thank you for calling back. It's not a debit card transaction. It's a Zelle transfer. Did you make any Zelle transfers recently? Was this you? Uh, no, no, I don't. I, 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 I don't use Zelle. You, do, you don't? Okay, so you're not aware of any Zelle transfers? No, I used it once a while back, but I, I don't use it. Okay, because we have a uh, Zell transfer here. Hello? Yeah, I'm here. There's a Zell transfer that was um, sent two days ago, but we still have it on hold. Oh, no, I didn't make a Zell transfer. Uh, I guess it's just an error. Just cancel it. Okay, and what, what was the transaction that we texted you about? I don't remember. I just wrote down the phone number to call you. No, because our text messages would always say, like, uh, uh, you know, if we texted you, it would always say what the transaction that was in question. But you're saying you just got a text just telling you to call this number? No, the text had information, but I just wrote down the phone number. So you didn't, you didn't write down the transaction in question, and you didn't respond to the text message saying that you'd made the transaction or you didn't? No, I don't, I don't typically text message at all. That's what was so strange you, about it. Strange? What, what was strange about it? Because I don't usually, I don't usually, I don't text message. I don't send people text messages and they don't send me text messages because I can't see to do it so well. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I guess, you know, because South, you know, South State Bank, we are a bank, we're your bank. We do send text messages. And, and, well, you know, you've, never, you've never text messaged me before. So I didn't. I don't understand. Well, you might not have had fraud on your account in the past, ma'am. This might be the first time that we ever red flagged anything. Oh, okay. You know, 
have you ever uh, have you ever had fraud on your account in the past ever? Uh, no. Okay, so yeah, that would be the reason that this is the first time for you getting a text message from us. Is if this is the first time we ever suspected that something was fraud. Um, uh, I do want to definitely see if the transaction that we texted you about went through and then we can review it with you. Can you look at your statement and just check and make sure that all of the transactions on there were ones that you made? Well, I looked at it online and everything looked right. Okay. Um, just the Zelle, that, that was on hold, that was not you. Well, like I said, I haven't used Zelle in a long time. I only used it like the one time. Okay, give me a moment, ma'am. Okay, take your time. And ma'am, um, can you verify your current address that should be on file? 28 Santa Avenue. Uh-huh. That's Altamont Springs, Florida, 32701. Okay. Okay, hold on a moment. Give me one moment, please, okay? Okay. So I'm trying to get the Zelle fixed for you. Are you able to sign into your account? Uh, yes, I, I logged into my account before I called. Okay, are you able to sign in now? Um, uh, let me see if I'm still signed in. Hang on a moment. Okay. Uh, yeah, I can sign in. Okay, sorry about that, ma'am. Are you with me now? Yes, I, I can sign in. Okay, let me know once you're signed in. Yes, I'm I'm signed in now. What is the most recent transaction showing you as? Uh, the gas I purchased on Thursday. Okay, and on your end after that transaction, what is the available balance showing you as? Uh, in the checking. Yes. Uh, four thousand three hundred twenty nine dollars and sixty two cents. Okay. All right, so we need to get the Zelle reversed. It hasn't come out of your account yet, which means we can still reverse it. And you go and take a look. Um, you, are you in the Are you on the browser on your computer? Yes. Okay. Do you see where there's a tab that says Pay and Transfer? Uh, yes. Go ahead and click Pay and Transfer. Okay. And then go ahead, and the third option should be Send Money with Zelle. Then go ahead and click that option that says Send Money with Zelle. Okay. And then what do you see? Well, it looks like the, the interface where you put the the stuff in to send it. The what? Where you put the information in to send with Zelle. Does it say, it should take you to a, a profile page where it says send in request? Yeah. Okay. So, like and I then said, you see I a little don't menu. Use, I don't really use Zelle. So, but you do have it set up? Yes. Yeah. So you have it set up. Yes. Is it, and You're going to have to tell me everything to do in here because I don't use it. Okay. That's why, yeah, that's why I'm hoping okay. to help you today. Okay. So that's why I'm just wondering on your end, what exactly do you see on the screen? Hello? Oh, hold on. Something just happened. I don't know why it just closed out. Ma'am, I'm sorry. It just it just like went blank. It just closed out for some reason. All right, and you you might have to go back to your home page and then go back to it. You know how to do that. Yeah. So what do you see now? I've got to re-log back in, so they got to send me a text message. To oh, you have to re re-log all the way back in. I guess I did. Hold on. Hello. Yeah, oh, I'm sorry, taking a while. What, what what is it saying now? What's what's taking a while? I guess I didn't enter the code in right. I don't know why. You didn't enter the code in right. I guess not. Can you try and enter the code in right then? Hello. I don't, I don't mean to keep you on the phone all this time. Well, yes, we do because. There's a there's something we need to fix on your account, man. So what do you what what exactly do you mean by that, ma'am? Okay, I've been there now. Okay. 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 So I'm gonna walk you through how because this in this situation we found that there was a fraudulent Zelle transaction. You said that wasn't you this time, right? You did. You weren't the one that used it this time. 
That's right. But someone sent out a $1,800 cell payment on your account, so we need to get that reversed, okay? Okay. So that's, that's what I'm trying to help you with. That, that's why, you know, that's why I'm, you know, that's why we're on the phone. Okay. Um, How much went through? Why doesn't it show in my bank? So sorry, ma'am, are, are you there? Yes. Okay. What now? What do you how see much, on your screen? How right much now? went through? One thousand eight hundred dollars. That's why that, you know they sent oh the one thousand. Oh my gosh! So we have so exactly we have to reverse it because I don't want you to lose that money now. Well, that's why, why. That's why, why I'm trying. Why don't I see it? Why don't I see it in my account? Because that the reason for the text message. We put a hold on it because it raised a red flag. So we had a hold on it. We didn't let it go through yet. It wouldn't have gone through until Monday, but we still need to get it handled out. We need to reverse it, okay? So that's why that's why we need to do that on your account, okay? Okay. Well, do I go send or request? Is that what, do you see now? Are you on the Zelle Pro profile on your computer? Yes. And do you see a little menu near the bottom, and do you see a little wheel next to it, like a little gear, like a little settings wheel? Uh, yes. Okay, go ahead and click on that, and it should open up your Zelle profile. Does it say your phone number, or does it say your email? What is connected to Zelle? Uh, my phone number. This is number, correct? 4039? Yes. Okay, now go back to the Zelle profile homepage, and I'm going to go ahead, and we're going to get a reversal transfer process. We're going to go ahead and put that on your account. Do you see on the Zelle profile homepage the little menu near the bottom? And the first uh, one of the options on the menu should be activity. Um, yes. That's where I'll go ahead and, and I'll put the uh, credit. Can you just wait for a moment so I can get my Zelle department to issue the credit? Okay. okay. Thank you so much for your patience, ma'am. Um, mm-hmm. Thank you for bearing with me. I know, you know, we're, we're taking some time here on the phone, and I know it's Sunday, so I'll try to get this done for you, you know, as, okay. as efficiently as I can. Um, give me just a moment, please, okay? Okay. And, ma'am, I'm filling out some notes here on the case while, I'm at, while the Zelle department gets that reversal issued out to you. Do you remember what day you received the text message? Um, Hello? No, I don't check my text messages often. It was one day, would have been one day this week, though. And then I wrote down the number, and then I accidentally deleted it. So I'm glad I wrote down the number. Uh, okay. So you don't remember when, when you got the text message? Well, I checked it on Friday night, but it would have been before that. I didn't think anybody would be there today. I was just calling to make sure I had the right number. Of course. No, this is the fraud department. The fraud department is open seven days a week. Oh, I thought I would have to wait until Monday. No, the fraud department is open seven days a week. When I didn't see anything wrong in my account, I wasn't that worried. But now you got me really worried. Yeah, because we had it on hold. Give me one moment. Um, I'm going to take some more notes here. I'll be okay. back. Okay? All right. Hello, ma'am. Sorry about the hold there. Yes. Okay. So, again, what, what I'm doing on my end is I'm getting the process set up for us to reverse that $1,900 bill payment. Um, can you just give me one more moment here, and then I'll let you know okay. where you should see it on your account? Okay. Okay, one moment, please. And then we'll just process that, and we'll get that transfer and those funds sent back to you here. Just give me a moment, okay? Well, it hasn't been taken out of my account. Yes, on your end, on your end, you don't see it yet because we placed it on hold, but on my end, I can see it. Oh, okay, all right. Mm-hmm. Ma'am, I'm not seeing that your phone number, you know, when we try to get this um, reverse back to you, are you sure if this phone number is enrolled in Zelle? Uh, yes, but like I said, it's been a, it's been a few years since, Couple of years since yeah, I've used it. It's that's that's okay. that's fine. Um, but you know when you click on that settings wheel, like the, the little gear, you said you see your your name and your phone number. Yeah. Then it should still be your active. It should still should, should be active. Okay. Though you see, um, like click on that little settings gear, that little wheel. Let me know once you click on that. Uh, okay. What do you see once you click on that? Uh, my name and my phone number. You don't see anything else below that? Um, like what? Well, it would typically also show your email address and a few other things. Um, you click on my preferences. Well, I feel like you should know what, what's on here. I know. I feel like I know what's on there, but what you're telling me isn't what I believe you should be seeing. And that's why I'm... That's why I'm trying to help you get to the right place. Wow. Well, maybe something's wrong. I don't know. 
Okay. Can you get back to the Zelle homepage? Just, you know, the homepage, go to transfer and pay, then go and click send money with Zelle. And let me know once you're on that um, page, that homepage, please. And then let me know once you're there. Yeah, where it says send. Yes. Okay. And then when can you scroll down and click on um, in that little menu near the bottom, click on activity. Okay. And when you click on activity, what do you see? Well, can I... This is I'm just getting so frustrated with this. Um, Why? Maybe I could I just come in there tomorrow? Can I just come down to the bank tomorrow? Um, well, I, ma'am, I don't want this this transfer to go through. If this wasn't you. I'm just trying to help you. It, it it's just, just a simple process that you know it it only take us a couple minutes once we get on the same page. That's, I'm just trying to help you see the right place. Can you give me a chance to help you, please? Yeah, what do I need to do? Do I click send or what? No. You, do you see near the bottom of the Zelle profile page where it says activity? There should be like a little menu and it says activity. Um, yeah. Should I get should I get my son over here to help me with this? Yes, if he's if he's available that might help us. Uh well, I'll have to call him and ask him to come over. Um No, you don't have to do that. You don't have to do that, ma'am. We, we, I, look, if you give me one more chance, I can just guide you. Can you just click on what I tell you to click on, and we'll we'll get it okay. done. It, it, I okay. promise you. All right. All right. All right. I'm right I here to help. I see send. I see request. I see the little gear. And when you scroll down, you see where it says activity. Yes. Can you click on activity? Yes. Yeah. And what do you see when you click on activity? I... I feel like you should know this, not me. Ma'am, I'm trying to make sure that you see the correct thing. Do you see something that says pending and something that says past? Yes. You do? Yes. I don't... Okay. What... I'm so... Hello? I'm sorry? What you say? Yes, I'm here. Okay. And what do, you... what do you see? You see where it says pending and past? Pending and past, yes. And underneath it where it says pending, what does it say? It does, it does it have anything? Does it have does any it say, activity? It says no pending activity. Yeah, that's right. But it doesn't have anything under pass either. And then, okay, can you click on pass? And when you click, when you click on pass, do you see your past transactions? No, there's nothing there. Like I said, it's huh? been over two years ago since I used it. Okay, hang on. Alrighty, ma'am. So, um, are you lo- are you logged in? Yes. And what do you see? Are you just signing on the homepage? Yes. Okay. Can you go to the pay and transfer tab? Okay. And do you see the menu that it pulled up? Uh, yes. And what does it say on the menu? Instead of telling me to tell you everything I see, why don't you just tell me what I'm looking I'm just, for? Because I'm just trying to make sure you're on the correct page, ma'am. Well, you I know, like I, I can tell you what you're supposed to see, and you can say yes, but the only way I can be sure that you're actually seeing the correct page, and there's nothing I can do to hurt you if you just tell me what you're seeing. It's just going to help me understand look, what you're Tell me what I'm looking for. The transfer and pay tab, it should take you to a menu. I'm just trying to make sure you're in the right place. On that menu, it should have some options. It should say internal transfers, then external transfers, then send money with Zelle. Yeah. Is that what you see? Yeah. And you click on send money with Zelle. Okay. And what do you see? I can't tell you every single thing I see. Will you just tell me you don't what have I'm looking okay. for? Yeah, I'll just tell you. Well, you okay? Then just follow along. And then, do you see send in requests? Yes, I do. Go ahead and click send. Click send. Okay. And once you click send, now do you see a place to put in the recipient? Yes. This is what you're going to type in. For the first name, you're going to type in S H E M A R. Okay. S H E M A R. Yes. And then the okay. last name. For the last name, you're going to type in SW. And then do you see where to put in the phone number? Yes. Okay, this is the phone number that you're going to put. The phone number is 04. 04. 14. 14. 
and then can you go ahead and click next? Or does it tell you to put in an amount? Oh, next. Okay. All does right. it tell you to enter an, enter an amount? Yes. Yeah. Go ahead and put in $1,900. Uh, okay. Zero, zero. Okay. And then go ahead and press send. And then it'll take you to another page. Press review. And then press end again. Okay. Well, then I'm sending somebody at $1,900. No. Uh -uh. You're not. That's a South State Bank employee. And that's going to be connected to your account. We're going to credit your account those funds by having you basically reverse the transfer that was fraudulently sent out to send it back to us so that we can credit you, okay? Um, Is that okay? Why? Explain it again. Because someone fraudulently sent out money from your account, we're trying to go ahead and have you send it back to us instead so that we can credit your account. Is that okay? Um, That's no, a South I, State I Bank account. Mm. What kind of... I don't understand... Um, why well, I have to send somebody nineteen hundred dollars? You're not. You're sending your bank. Ma'am, give me a moment. I'll get a supervisor. Okay, give me a moment. Okay. Ma'am, are you with me? Yes. Are you still on that page? I have a supervisor here who can explain it a little bit more to you. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Hello, ma'am. My name is Ryan Stanley. I'm the supervisor here. How are you doing today? Oh, I'm fine. How are you? I'm doing great. So what it is is it was Dell. Someone sent out the nineteen hundred dollars out of your account. So we're having you send it back to yourself. So basically the person, Shamar, who are, you know, we're having you initiate it to, it went to their account. So we're processing the reversal. So you're not sending nineteen hundred dollars. You're not gonna see any money leave your account. Nothing is gonna leave your account. Well it will if I press send. No, if you press send it won't. You're gonna see it says it's gonna say South State Bank credit funds is available in five minutes. It's not gonna it's not gonna take out of your account because we've already have a red flag on the Zelle. So you can go ahead and click Zelle then now and that we can go over it together because you're still gonna have to get yourself out of text message. So it's not gonna leave your account the money if you click send. It won't. We're we're calling you because the transfer was initiated, you know. So we're just trying to help you get the funds back because once the Zelle goes through it's gonna take out of your account, you know. Um, no, if I hit send on this, it's going to take money out of my account. I'm not... Saying. No, it's not. It's not going to take money out of your account, ma'am. We are setting that up as a reversal credit because we, we're we trying to get you your money back into your account because once it processes and it leaves your account, ma'am, it's nothing we're going to be able to do. What we're, what we're right. having you once do that now is... That's yeah. right. You just said it. Once it processes and leaves my account, there's nothing I can do. No, it's not going to leave. It's not going to leave your account. One, the transaction is already made. So right now, if you don't do anything in a couple hours and you check your statement, you're going to see that 1900 has left your account. And when you step into the branch, they're going to tell you it's going to take up to 90 days because a representative and supervisor called you and we tried to do the reversal. So, you know, if we're not able to do the reversal and it leaves your account and we can't help you, you know, it's going to be, you know, you're not going to be able to get your funds until about 60 to 90 days, it takes. Because whenever Zelle is an instant transfer portal, what we're trying to do is reverse the Zelle. The Zelle was already made. You know, I'm not sure who made it, but it was already made. Well, I'm not hitting send on this because that's just going to send money to somebody. Well, if you don't hit send and, you know, you're not going to do it, when you do check your account later, ma'am, you're going to see that, you know, your 1900 has left your account. And when you contact us and you ask us about it, it's going to take you 90 days to get that money back because somebody already initiated the transfer. So I'm not sure, you know, how they got your information, but somebody already initiated that transfer that you see. So if you don't do anything don't, now, don't and see, you don't want to... That's the thing. I don't see anything. I don't see a transfer. I don't Yes, see because it's, it's through Zelle. We didn't let it process yet. It takes six to eight hours. So once it gets to the six hour mark, it's going to show in your account. And by that time, it'll already be too late for us to help you. We're not going to be able to help you if it, you know, if it if it goes through, we won't be able to help you anymore. You know, there, it's going to take about, you know, 90 days and you'll have to file a police report. So it's a pretty serious issue. Yeah, but I feel like you're trying to push me, push me into doing this. 
and it's, it's well i'm not making it i'm not making you do anything ma'am again like i said before if you don't do it it's clearly up to you but if you don't do it and you check your account later and you see that it's gone and then you call us we're not going to be able to help you um that's what i'm basically explaining because i'm not like i'm not sure if you ever use l but the way it works with l first it goes through Zelle, then it goes through south state bank so it's through Zelle already now once it hits out state it's nothing we can do you do you understand um Yes, but you're. Uh, yes, but it, it, you're making me. Well, when you're, so when you're, quick it looks like you're sending, even it, looks like, it looks like you're sending. It looks like you're sending money because what we're having you do is issue the credit back to yourself. Because whoever Shamar says that was the account who initiated the Zelle. So by you clicking send, you're sending the nineteen hundred back to yourself. No, because I'm not. I'm not Shamar. Shaw. I don't know who. Okay, that is. Shamar. Shaw, Shamar Shaw is the one who sent out the Zelle. So he's the one who is going to receive the 1900 later. You know, if you don't do anything now, he's going to receive it later, and you're going to see it come out of your account. No, you're. I think I think you're trying to trick me. I'm not sending this money to this person. I don't know who it is. All, all righty, ma'am. So, okay, can you? Um, okay, ma'am, I can do it another way on our end. Um, are you able to go in your settings, Will? When you go to Zelle, you wear the settings. Um. Uh, yeah. Can you click on that for me? Yeah. And what do you see when you click on it? Are you t I'm not, I told the other guy, I'm not going to sit here and tell you everything I see. You just tell me what I'm looking for. It's ridiculous. All righty, ma'am. Well, if you can't help, help us and, you know, we're trying to help you, I'm just going to have to end the call because there's nothing we're going to be able to do if you're not compliant. You well, know, so if you're not willing if to you have to, you just end it because I'm not sending you $1,900. Uh, all righty. Thanks, ma'am. Have a nice day. Thank you so much. Have I'll a nice end day. If you want to. Well, that's it. Let me tell you how they wanted the scam to go, but it couldn't because I'm not using a real Zelle account. They would have sent a Zelle request to my Zelle account. It would have been worded as a Zelle credit. See the attached screenshot on your screen now. It would be easy for someone to just click two times and lose $1,900. The way I had to do it was a little more convoluted, but it still allowed me to get their Zelle information. A good thing is that I got a different Zelle account than the one the scammer used to scam the victim who provided the information to me. So the scammer lost two Zelle accounts we have call recordings, and a police report has been made. Unfortunately, the victim may not be able to get their $1,900 back. Anytime you receive a fraud alert of any type from your bank or financial institution, call the phone number that's on your statement or on your card. That's the absolute safest way to communicate. Never respond to random phone calls or text messages. Thank you all so much. Please like and subscribe and of course comment. I really want to know what you think about this scam. See you next time.